With the recent rule of no password sharing, it seemed like Netflix would become irrelevant because of it, and it affected their audience with many people not using the streaming service or opting out, completely abandoning it. However, with the announcement of new seasons for their most popular shows, makes sense as to when they chose to do this. They have to make revenue, and they're losing from people who are doing this. However, today I wanted to share the top four the most anticipated shows that are all releasing in 2024. To start, I think the most, at least for me personally, is the live-action Avatar The Last Airbender series. We have gotten a ton of information about this series now that the release is inching closer and closer. More recently, we know that there will be eight episodes at least for this season, all of which are to be an hour long, and the title of each of these episodes. And while we wait for this series to release in 2024, there have been cast interviews and a few more details on how the creators, seeing as how the original creators left, wanted to portray the series, trying to avoid an exact copy and paste and allow the series to flow in kind of a different direction. While details concerning the show are scarce, Reports have emerged over the last few months suggesting it will remain somewhat faithful to Nickelodeon's iconic animated series. This kind of makes me a little bit nervous considering the original crew aren't on the project, so I'm concerned that they're going to steer too far in the other direction. The Netflix series director discussed one of the shots from the upcoming show's pilot episode, describing a scene featuring a boat with two passengers getting swept into a massive ice cave on a wave of water and crashing into an ice shelf. This would suggest a scene close to the opening scene of the original show, which saw Katara and Sokka discover Aang in an iceberg while on a fishing trip. Another series that I, along with many other people, are excited for is Squid Games Season 2. With all of the violence and games that happened with the first one, I think a lot of people surprised themselves even that they liked the series. But nonetheless, we will be getting a whole new season that will bring back some of the old cast as well as a few new cast members. In a recent interview, Squid Game creator talked about how he plans to bring back dead characters for Squid Game 2. He even apologized for killing these characters off so easily as he didn't expect the fast attachment. Next on our list is Penn Badgley's fifth and final season of You. I've heard you're on the edge of your seats, waiting and theorizing about the epic conclusion to You. You know, it's funny, this game. Every year, someone gets hurt. More importantly, you're considering what, or should I say who, Joe will come up against as he finally returns to New York. Though I can't say who just yet, we all know there are many loose ends from Joe's past. The question is, who are you? A lot of people do say that they didn't prefer this last season because it was pretty different than the last few. However, they put a new twist on his perspective instead of telling the same story with a different woman each time. I will say that the twist at the end was very surprising and I think shocked everyone. We don't have a whole lot of information other than the teaser and how the end of season 4 was set up. As the show wraps up its final season, it's been theorized whether some of Joe's past victims and acquaintances will make a reappearance, namely Wednesday star Jenna Ortega, who played Ellie in season 2. The season 4 finale sees Joe return to New York City, where the show first began in season 1. Not only does the setting bring the series back full circle, but it also opens up a wide range of possibilities for the story as Joe might have to come face to face with his past actions and maybe even past victims. This is what I kind of wanted since the show was ending, maybe in the last episode or two, he finally gets caught for all he has done. The next, fifth and final season of Stranger Things. The Duffer Brothers revealed during the presentation of the poster for season 4, they said this last season was the beginning of the end, having split the ending of Stranger Things into two different seasons. There isn't a whole lot of information for this show other than filming was scheduled in May and June of this year. So Table Read is already done and filming already started. They are planning on releasing this sometime in 2024. But I wanted to turn this around to you guys and ask what is the show or film that you're most anticipating and what question are you hoping is finally going to be answered. I for one am a fan of all these shows and will be renewing my subscription with this platform for these shows release, which makes me think that's why they decided to announce the password sharing debacle when they did, because they knew with the amount of shows that were going to come out, especially being final seasons with you and Stranger Things, that most people would come back anyway. 